Ladies and gentlemen, we have limped to the end of the FCS spring season. Yes, I know, the end of the regular season in the spring. The playoffs are right around the corner. In fact, the playoffs will be announced April 18th, 10.30 Central, 11.30 Eastern. And we have a bunch of bids. And I... I should have been corrected last week. Nobody corrected me. I mistakenly said two. In fact, there have been at least six auto bids locked up to my understanding. So let's go over all of them right now. Weber State, as we know, won the Big Sky. They have no games left. They have won the Big Sky. They are getting that automatic bid. In the Big South, things are a little bit less cut and dry. Um... Just kidding. Monmouth won the Big South. Um, they don't have a game tomorrow. They got their game canceled against Robert Morris. So they won the Big South. Big South is theirs. Um, the Colonial is interesting because uh, Delaware has a game against Villanova tomorrow. And they have, you know, they, they, they've beaten Rhode Island once. So... I'm thinking Delaware could have, you know, an auto bid there. I'm not sure. Um, there's also Richmond and James Madison. You know, Richmond, they have a game against James Madison tomorrow, so that will pretty much, you know, figure things out there. And that is going to determine, you know, at least at least one part of a bid. Um, Villanova also has a game. Yeah. Villanova also could win, the, you know, the um, the CAA tomorrow potentially, um, potentially, potentially the winner Richmond James Madison actually could win the CAA by virtue of being undefeated. If Villanova beats Delaware tomorrow, both of those teams are out of out of consideration, but there could be a playoff spot still on the line. You never know. Um, as far as the Missouri Valley goes, North Dakota State, Missouri State. They are looking like the teams that they're going to have, you know, a playoff spot locked up. Missouri State has no more games scheduled. They got their last game canceled. North Dakota State, on the other hand, has a game, you know, for the Dakota marker. San Diego, well, I almost said San Diego State. I meant South Dakota State. Yes, yeah, South Dakota State tomorrow. Both those teams are 4-1. Or rather, North Dakota State's 5-1 in conference play. South Dakota State is 4-1. North Dakota, on the other hand, they do not have any more games scheduled. In fact, they haven't played in 35 days, 35 plus days. That's five weeks they haven't played since March the 20th when they got smacked by North Dakota State. So, I'm wondering, you know, could Missouri Valley have three bids still? Um, Missouri State locked up. Remember, they locked up at least a share of the conference title last week. North Dakota State, South Dakota State will be battling. North Dakota also, you know, has a little bit of a stake in it as well. As far as the Northeast goes, we all know now that Sacred Heart is going to the playoffs in the NEC. So there's no reason to talk about it. In the Ohio Valley, things are pretty interesting. And by interesting, I mean James. I I I I meant Jacksonville State. Wow, I almost said James Madison. Jacksonville State is going to the FCS playoffs. I don't know about Murray State. Murray State is probably not going anywhere. They have two straight losses. Austin P. You know they have two losses as well. I don't think they're going anywhere either. Patriot League Championship is indeed this weekend. Holy Cross, Bucknell, gonna be fun. And in the pay. Excuse me. Um, in the Pioneer League, actually, Davidson was given the PFL Championship, their first ever PFL Championship, first ever playoff appearance for them. Unfortunately, San Diego won't be able to get to go. They had they, San Diego does have a game against Valpo tomorrow, but again, it does not matter. Davidson, congrats, you guys are going to the FCS playoffs. As far as the Southern goes, the Southern Conference. There's still some things here that look pretty interesting. Um, VMI, Chattanooga, and Mercer are all there. Um, you know, but, you know, Chattanooga's game against East Tennessee State got canceled. They haven't played in three or four weeks as well. 
They haven't played since March 27 when they got whooped. Or rather, not really whooped. I meant, I meant to say they lost by a touchdown. Numbers, I've been getting so much stuff wrong today. VMI, again, they are playing the Citadel. Um, they VMI did beat Mercer. And um, yeah, I, th I think VMI has the Southern Conference locked up, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, Southland, pretty cut and dry. Sam Houston has won the Southland Conference. They're 5 and 0 conference play. Southeast Louisiana is finished up. You know they have a non-conference game against Southern Illinois tomorrow, um, but that game honestly, you know that game means a lot to those two teams because they're fighting for one of those six at-large spots. And again, Sam Houston, they have a game against Incarnate Word tomorrow, but again that game does not matter. Sam Houston has locked up a playoff spot. In the SWAC, things are getting pretty interesting. They're getting pretty interesting in the ways that you might think. And it, it's really come down to Alabama a and Alabama State. <sighs> in the East and in the West, Arkansas Pine Bluff, Prairie View, and Southern are all in the mix there. So there you have it. Again, there's not too many games tomorrow afternoon and into the, into tomorrow, but we do have some games. There again, there is no MIAC bid, so South Carolina State, Delaware State, Howard, you know those three teams, they're not getting a playoff bid at all. Um, but there's not many games tomorrow. There's just a couple of big ones again. You know, Grambling State Southern, that's going to be on NBCSN. The the Patriot League Championship, that's going to be on CBS Sports Network. So, that's going to be fun. Um, again, the Magic City Classic, Alabama A&M, Alabama State, probably, which will decide the SWAC East going up. That'll be on, I believe that'll be on what, ESPNU, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. And, yeah, that's, and of course, there's some... Um, Big Sky games that are on Pluto TV, of course. But, you know, South Dakota State, North Dakota State going to be a big one. There's just a lot of big games in the last regular season weekend of FCS football. This is going to be real fun to see how, how this goes. I will see you all Monday to break down the playoffs, break it down. And you know, we're going to break it down on Monday instead of, you know, the bracket being revealed on Sunday. And I do, like, an, an immediate after type thing with the bracket. Yeah, we're going to do that on Monday. So I'll see you then, everybody. And long live the FCS. Long live some good FCS football. We, we've been missing it, you know. But, but it's coming down to the wire here for some of these teams and some of these large bids. So, you know, again... See you guys on Monday. Y'all take care. Have a good weekend.